Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm out in Big Sur, California and I'm doing some backpacking uh, for the weekend and I'm using the Granite Gear AC58 backpack. Here's the website for Granite Gear right here. This backpack is extremely comfortable. I have it loaded up with about 35 pounds worth of stuff. Granted, I'm only going for the weekend. Normally I would go um, a lot lighter, <laughs> at least half of that. But I'm testing a bunch of gear too, so I have all that with me. Plus I got about six pounds of camera gear. So that being said, um, it's still, it's extremely comfortable. It carries the weight very well. And, and I like it a lot. It's a uh, it's not very noisy. Some, some packs have a tendency to be noisy. But I'll kind of see if I can show you around back here. It's got an adjustable sternum strap, adjustable waist belt. The only thing I wish it did have was an emergency whistle on the, um, the sternum strap. But beggars can't be choosers. So. It does have quite a bit of options though, and I really like it. Okay, so here's the Granite Gear Leopard AC58. And what the AC stands for is air current, and I'll tell you why. So on the back panel here, you have this really soft, um, soft fabric, but you can see how I can kind of run my fingers through the little channels here. And what that means is that you have these flat panels that are foam, and these really form to your back, making the load transfer really, really nice. And the channels, what that does is it allows air to flow through through your back, keeping your back cooler and way more comfortable while you're carrying your backpack, especially if your pack is uh, loaded pretty heavily. This one has a rating of about 40 pounds max. On the front side here, we do have several different options for lashing gear. You have your daisy chains right here. You have ice axe loops. You have tool uh, loops here that you can strap your um, hiking poles to if you need to. Another cool thing that I like is the twin side stretchy pockets. On the sides, what Granite Gear has done here is they also have compression straps that go along this. So while you have them here on the outside of this thing, I like to call it like a beaver tail, you can actually strap this around the pocket like that or you know if you have something in here you want to keep secure or you can actually pass this through the pocket through to the other side and snap that in place and now it doesn't interfere with the pocket which is really nice design I like that it does come in two sizes it comes in short and regular and it does have a, a lid and one of the things that I really like about the lid is it is removable, but it does have the pocket up front, which is great. And that makes getting things out a lot easier for people that are hiking by you or in your, in your group. They're not getting in through the backside here, which tends to be a little difficult. There's also lash points on the top for if you put some shock cord up here, you can lash something else on the top. Little uh, keychain holder for your keys and another pocket on the inside, little mesh pocket here on the inside. So organization is really good on this pack. If you unbuckle these two, you take the lid and then on the top here it has more, um, more compression straps up here. So you kind of loosen those up and then on the sides you have another two here because this is a roll top. And what you do is you kind of just unroll this and you can see how much more pack you can get out of this bag. If I put it that way, you can probably see it a little bit better. Look how much extra you have room here. And this is super easy. You just take it like this and you just kind of take it like this and you just roll it. 
just a roll top. And then once it's in place, you get your compression straps on the sides. Snap those in place. Now it keeps all your gear secure. It keeps it away from the elements, which is super important, and it keeps it all in one place. You don't have to worry about anything falling out. This pack on the inside here, it does have a pass-through here, and this is for your um, water bladder hose. The pack is hydration compatible. It does not come with a hydration system, so keep that in mind. On the front side here, it does have a, here, I'll turn it this way, it'd be a little easier, I guess. On the front side here, it does have this really long vertical pocket that's stretchy. And you can fit a lot of stuff in here, stuff that you want to get, you easily want to get to. You can put right here. And if you unbuckle these from the side compression straps here and here, this whole thing opens flat. And there's another pocket on the inside of this I don't know, beaver tail or whatever you want to call it. But you could also put stuff here and then fold this over to keep everything secure. There's also another small pocket under here. Um, you could put like a pack cover in there or something you want to get to easily. But all in all, super, super organizing and very, very well made pack. The materials are made of 100D ripstop nylon and a 210D nylon cordura. Uh, stretchy mesh fabric, of course, also on the side pockets. It does have an adjustable torso, so if you're a little bit shorter or taller, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the frame, and you can actually adjust the shoulder straps. The hip belt is really super easy. You buckle it, and then you pull the straps together like that, and that's what closes it, cinches it around your, your waist. It also, if you notice, it has daisy chains that go around the, um, around the hip belt as well, so there's also more uh, stuff to lash to there. The hip belt and the shoulder straps are dual density, and they're very, very comfortable and extremely well padded. The sternum strap right here is adjustable. The only downside is I wish it had an emergency whistle on the, on the buckle, but not a big deal there. These do move up and down, and these strips right here are reflective. So a lot of good safety features there. It does have the load levelers, so you can cinch that down and adjust it. And it also has your, your adjustments on the hip belt as well. Okay, as for the beaver tail, not only does it function well as having these daisy chains right here to, to lash stuff too, but it also um, allows for gra uh, Granite Gear's crampon holder that mounts right to this. So you can actually mount crampons to your pack and not worry about hurting your pack or you know, tearing anything. So that's really cool. However, that is not, um, it does not come with it. So that is purchased separately. The pack weighs in at three pounds total weight, empty. And if you took the lid off, it comes in at about two pounds, 12 ounces. Granite Gear also offers four different hip belt sizes. Now this is the blue, obviously, but it also comes in sulfur and java, which is basically yellow and brown. Okay, so that's my review of the Granite Gear Leopard AC58 backpack from Granite Gear. And I really, really enjoy this backpack. It's very nice, it's extremely well made, and it's built to last. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm reviewing, so click the little uh, button right here to subscribe to my channel. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. If you like the backpack and you wanna pick one up for yourself, please click the link down in the description box below and make your purchase. When you click that link, you go to a website where you can buy the pack. It also helps support my website, so I appreciate all the help there. Thank you very much for tuning in to trailamountain.com. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor-related hodgepodge on trailamountain.com. Thanks again, guys. Get outdoors.